Well, as I did mention, now we want to talk about things you should never tell your spouse. And Maze, we have just the man <laughs> to tackle this topic. Oh, VP. <laughs> You're laughing because you know. <laughs> I'm ready for this. Hey, ready. I'm excited. Things you should never tell your spouse with the one and only Benjamin Zulu, uh, of course, a relationship coach and a psychologist as well, yeah. <laughs> joining us in studio. Karibu. Asante. What do you got a discussion? You know, Jana, I asked people just for fun on Facebook. Are you happy in your relationship? I'm a mekalia deposit. <laughs> so. <laughs> so this is a very good topic it is a good yeah. topic because you know what there's some there's some things that you know sometimes you feel like you should just talk about anything and feel yeah. free to say anything with your spouse That's right. That's right. but yeah. there are some words or complaints or certain sentences and phrases that should just not come out of your mouth when That's you're right. upset or angry That's right. and those kind of harmful words cannot be unsaid and so they end up eating away at your relationship mm -hmm. doing damage to your marriage and hurting your spouse's feelings and potentially absolutely breaking or shaking the foundation upon which your marriage was built and so, you know, let's start with, well, let me ask you, before I even ask, my, according to you, yes. what is one of the top things you should never <laughs> tell. say to, or tell your spouse? The details of your past sexual life. Really? Yes. I thought you were supposed to be honest, though. It's childish About to say everything you think. <laughs> <laughs> We Christians are taught to be open and honest and direct and forthright. No, don't have shady areas and all that. And that's very right. Yeah. We don't. We are not saying you be a liar. We are not saying that you cover things that you're supposed to say. So they should know you had if you had a sexual. Yes. Sexual you should not hide. They should. You should know. not hide. You should. You should not not pretend like nothing happened in your life. But just mentioning is enough. Okay. Going to the details and telling them so much of those things can is not healthy. Yeah. And I'll give examples uh, as we go on. Okay. Can I tell you the second category? I wanted to mention three. Yeah. Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> so We're ready. Details of your past sexual life okay. should not tell them. Okay. If you feel an itch to talk about them, there are people there are safe people to talk about them. Your girlfriends. Oh, <laughs> your Lord. boyfriends. <laughs> a therapist. Okay. Somebody you are sure it will never go circle and then comes to your person. Okay. <laughs> because you can give a person an ammunition to destroy your relationship. Sure. If you tell them sensitive details. Sure. Number two is an ex you occasionally miss. Mm. Or the <laughs> things in them that you like. Yes. Okay. And um, you had good time and none of it's in the past. But if you wake up to them, you know what? I'm missing that guy. <laughs> Number three is things about your partner that you wish were different. Mm. <laughs> things about them that you wish to change. Uh, when I was dating, girls would notice my clean head. <laughs> Don't ask me. And I would tell them that uh, when other people, you know I inherited that from my father. Okay. When other men were inheriting, maybe people inheriting mashamba na magari, I inherited that, <laughs> a clean head. <laughs> and I'm happy with it. Well, so, okay. Don't ask me what happened with your hair. It took an early vacation. I also don't know. <laughs> so, if I noticed that she was particularly disliking it, You'd break up with her? Because I'll live to struggle with that. <laughs> yeah. It makes you feel insufficient. Kama alikuwa na otea, aulewe na jamako na kanyoleka puwa na musaidi hata kuka chana na kuka fanya. I am not arguing with your ambition, but I'm saying I'm not the candidate for it. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. if you wish to change a few things about me, decide quietly whether you can live with me without them. Okay, let's pause it there. I want to invite you guys to give me your feedback. <laughs> what are the things that you guys would say you should never, ever, ever say to your spouse? Okay, what are the things you should never tell your husband, never tell your wife? Double two triple nine is the SMS line, and you can also comment on our Facebook page at Switch TV uh, Kenya on Facebook and Twitter and at Switch TV KE on Instagram. Now, Benjamin, okay, so those three we want to break all of those yes. down. Yes, so beginning with the first category that you you raised which was details of your past sexual life mm. um tell us what that does to a relationship when you actually sort of share oh those my. it awakens demons of insecurity 
<laughs> I know a marriage that several of them that are breaking down over that. Mm. Uh, uh, in one of them, the girl was a, a party animal <laughs> before. Mm -hmm. Then she converted to Christianity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now was a, a good Christian. Then she met this guy who had been in the faith yeah. for many years. Yeah. She made the, the mistake Christians make to think every born again person is mature. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he is mature, but those are still hard details to listen to. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah. So I wanted to come to that. Some people can be mature, but some of these things, because she had been to this club being bash and sex was nothing to them. Yeah. But to a guy who has been Christian, sex is very sacred. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then she started talking about a guy after a guy after a guy after a guy, and she didn't know what she was doing to him. He became mm -hmm. so insecure for her to be around anybody. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And that marriage went down, 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 and it was potentially a healthy relationship, mm. you know? Mm. So what it does, it, it can arouse insecurities. Okay. And what I can encourage, if you find that you are, the person you're dating is too inquisitive, too inquisitive about your past life, yeah. po they are potentially insecure. Okay. You need to know that I'm moving forward with my life, I'm not moving backwards. So how do you handle that though? Because there are people who will be insecure in relationships, so for you, who is seeing that your spouse is insecure, how, how do you help them? Assuage, find a way to not to feed the insecurities wisely. For example, if you ask me, I just tell you generally, I had a past life, I, I, I was not uh, at, but I'll tell you just generally, enough to tell you that I've changed. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm a different person now. Yeah. I, the past, some of our listeners are thinking, are you trying to say we keep secrets? We are going to come and differentiate. What we are talking about today is history, your historical facts in your life here. But a, a secret is something you are doing in hiding, which is very harmful. Mm -hmm. And we cannot encourage it. Mm -hmm. But what we are calling today, good, quote unquote, good secrets, is those records of your past life that if you brought them up today, they wouldn't help anyone. Mm -hmm. They'll just harm more. They just do more harm than good. So the point is, how do you deal with these insecurities? Don't feed them. Okay. Number two, just learn that the person has potential for ruminating, chewing over what you said and bringing it up <laughs> in everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the other thing you said was not to talk about that, or that ex that you occasionally miss. You, you have to be out of your mind if you're going to be in a relationship and you start talking about your ex <laughs> and how you miss them. Just let me tell you. People, do people actually do that? They do. I, I have, I, uh, we have many cases like that. And what happens is, um, let me tell you about your ex. Sometimes you, you're not missing the ex, you're missing the moments. Okay. Some good chemistry there was. Or you're missing whom you thought they were until you discovered they were not. Mm -hmm. You know this infatuation, the crash? Yeah. You're falling in love with your image of the person. Yeah. Not even the person themselves. Yeah, yeah. Many of the relationship, when we were naive and young, were, were founded on imaginations. Mm -hmm. You assume this person was this angelic and all that, until you realize they are more demonic than angelic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people do mix that, miss the ex. What, uh, what you have said is this, Joyce. Kwanini watu uzumunza mambo kama haya, because it, it, it's, it's our natural instinct is to say everything we are thinking. Yeah. It, it takes maturity not to say, to restrain yourself mm -hmm. from saying some things. Mm -hmm. So people do talk about their exes and yes, it does hurt their relationships. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's look at your third one, which is about the attributes about them that you wish were different. So say in Gumu, because you, 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 help me out guys. Do you guys feel me? <laughs> It is. I really there are get. some things that you're like, I Jamini. So is there no room to sort of say, I, I wish you would change this or I, I, I don't like Let's it. categorize the things about a person that we are talking about. Okay, fine. Behavioral things should be communicated. Kama ni kitu ufanya na neza change. Okay. Tafadhali, depending on how much they can withstand it. Pia uye usiachidi, truth is painful. And you should not serve yeah. it in big doses. Yeah. <laughs> Try to kionjo, cut it. Kionjo, kionjo, pole pole tu. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah. Um, try to go around, left, and find the like, appropriate moment to suggest the change. Okay. Suggest. <laughs> I like that word. <laughs> to suggest, suggest the change. Yeah. Um, if your partner in you lose to use in and the categories of uh, types of snoring, if you want to ungorota, to kasema kunali ungorota smoothly, kama generator ya Honda. Nengino ungorota na base kama kisiagi ya gidunguri. Kitame. Alafu kuna wale upano wakishuka kama lori ya takataka. Alafu kuna wale usheki kitanda kama adhi kwenda. So if your partner snores, that is a little bit nature and also behavior. It can be controlled. 
Okay. But for some people, it's very, <laughs> very disturbing. Yeah. So my wife told me, Babake, you are an angorota. And I go out as you live in an angorota. So you, you, mommy, you could be. Yeah. So there are some things you just won't change. Those are so, things uh, you yeah. just have to so, learn to deal with. Behavior one can be changed. But no, same as a nature. Ukipata mm -hmm. ikitu ni nature umutu wako hivo. Mm -hmm. There's a girl who told me this, there are two categories of people that she could not stand. Guys who are shorter than her. Likuwa and same as she wants you to be taller than me so that I can feel covered. Okay. <laughs> I can feel protected. Kamuli za kwani kwani nataka shade yake. Ati ni kivuli huku hapo chini yake every time. Okay. Then, uh, na na kakua na sema, akua napenda wala tu temperamento. Ni kumbia hizo vitu niko kategori mbili. Ufupi yeah. na urefu we can't control. But temper we can control. So sure. if your partner has bad temper, that's something you should communicate to them. Alright. If you realize they are slow, or, or, or something like that. So behavior ones communicate. The ones of nature, one way to deal with my nature, the moment I learned that kutoka nikuwa mdogo sikuwa natumia kitana kwa kichu yangu, biju nikitumia inanigwara. Tumia shule, watu wananuliza wata pen, wananuliza kikamba inaito obaya. So wananuliza wata kipara utuwa api na sijuji inaitua nini. I don't know what they are talking about. So just ignore them, mamuliza mmeuliza nini, <laughs> and they go away. Okay. That's nature. I can't control it. So don't criticize people over what they can't control. All right. Yeah. Don't criticize people over what they cannot control. Benjamin Zul is on fire here in the studio as we're talking about what not to tell your spouse in a relationship. It's already time for us to take a break, but we'll be back shortly. Stay tuned. More coming up. Nam karibuni tena katika hiki pindi cha full circle with Joyce. I'm here with Benjamin Zulu and uh, we're talking about the things not to tell your spouse. Okay. And lots of you are sending in your feedback and your comments. A very exciting uh, conversation we're having here. Let me just read out some of your comments here on Facebook. Uh, Jfu Iregi, you say, I think hufai kuwa na vitu hufai kuambia wife yako nje ya kuambia ndio ina mata interesting so is it about the way you say it or even what you say interesting pointer there musumba marilyn blesses hey joyce loving the show from embakasi benjamin akosawa show ikosawa na switch tv iko mbele asante sana tuashukuru precious base says tuned in the show is lit say hey to zulu nilimjua nikiwa maliku girls yeah, uh you. used to speak there yes. okay dorcas mudoni say lively guy he is certainly <laughs> Um, Neshazin Joanne says, hey there, I'm always inspired with him. Sometimes it's difficult to tell your spouse that you don't want to have sex before marriage for the fear that they are used to it in their past relationship. Is that something you should be afraid of saying? Though? That's your principle. You should yeah. communicate principles. We say it with the matters of preference, be flexible. Yeah. But with the matters of principle, be firm. Yeah. Because a lot of people are scared that when they say that, when they say no, I'm saving myself for marriage, that this person that they're in a relationship with is now going to leave them. And to me, I'm like, you know what, then he should. Because yes. he doesn't he doesn't recognize your value. If he can't respect your values and your principles, That's it. you know, what is he going to do when you guys are now And the problem is if you compromise on your principles to please another person, you're still yeah. tormented inside. Yeah. You're not at peace. He should you respect you for it. your yes. principles. Yes. Yeah. It's about, again, how you say it. If you explain to the person respectfully, they should also understand. Yeah. Stick to your guns, girl. Okay, um, or and even that applies to guys as well, because as you're saying, you know, this goes on both sides. So if you're a yes. guy and you're trying to save yourself for marriage and a girl is pressuring you, work a candle. Uh, King, can, can I chip in something? Somebody yeah. said, Ali uh, uh, while we were preparing for this talk, that Habiake may mwambia ti almeyai ku lala na mama fulani na uko. Sasa anase mampaka wa leo, she cannot trust him mm. around women, even if they are older or that. Mm. So she also regrets, why did you tell me? If it's not something anymore you're doing, yeah, you actually regret it. There are healthier people to tell. So those are some of the things you should not tell. Okay, he, yeah. He could have conversed with a professional, a boy, a guy, man, I feel disturbed about that. Did he do it while they were married? No, before. Oh, okay. That was before they got married. Yeah, and, and he didn't tell her before they got married? He told her after they got married. Okay, you should probably have told her before A woman you popped, you see that woman over there? What? No. <laughs> you know. As in, you say you slept with that person. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> so that's part of the lack of wisdom you're saying. There's wisdom in Yeah, you that know. is lack of wisdom. That is not even maturity <laughs> yeah. on the lady. Because I would have asked him a common sense question. 
what was the usefulness of you saying it? Oh my lord, face palm because of that. <laughs> mm -mm. Let's move on to another one. <laughs> King King Mat. Matolal Madola says it's not okay to keep secrets, but some weird things that you've been doing before you started dating her, you should not tell her because they may end up hurting the relationship itself. Like this example right, right. now. Yeah. All right, Diana Mwelu, you say, Hey Joyce, totally loving the show. Benjamin Zulu is always on fire. He sure <laughs> is. <laughs> uh, Oguok, Linda, all of these are still on Facebook. You say you're tuned in from Eldoret. Salimia Benjamin, it's true those three things should be kept for oneself. Two years of being crucified for my past little disagreement brings all those things mm. you guys are sharing. Had it looks like where and you're always wrong. That's it. Mm. And I want I want to highlight manipulation. Those people keep pulling your history yeah, to your face that's not to fair. put you down even when they have a, a share in this argument, the present argument. At our answer, could count those things you had told them before. Mm -hmm. Be careful before you you talk out things before because they use it as ammunition. Yeah. But Jesus, you must also acknowledge that what we are now on our too immature. Sure. When people are marrying, they don't know. Mm -hmm. So what we advise is, you see this idea of premarital counseling is a good idea. A very good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mary Jazz Juma, you say you tuned in and loving the show. Musumba Marilyn Blessed, you say, I will hide everything from him. <laughs> but I will... <laughs> <laughs> I will let him know what I disliked in the past relationship and your Asifanyezo mistakes. That's a wise way because she will also pick those the ones that she's seeing they can come up here. Yeah. For example, if you had a, a person who was argumentative and you're seeing some elements of arguments here, you can use wisely. That's a wise woman who mm -hmm. will go indirectly. Mm -hmm. You remember time David wanted to go and kill Nabal, a guy who had yes. insulted him. Yes. And then His the, wife, the wife of Abigail. And what did she she brought food because she knew these guys men like yes. food. It's a great story in the Bible actually of, and then of being she, a woman of she influence. She successfully cooled him down. Yeah. Yeah. And imagine his name actually means fool. So the Bible already calls him a fool, but his wife used strategy and wisdom to first temper him down and then talk to him in a way that wouldn't. That fool, how come he had married such a wise woman? Are you trying to say there's hope for... <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on TV? <laughs> where, where? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hiya. All right, well, let's turn to some of our SMS questions here. Akiba Benjamin, you'll get in trouble. <laughs> but uh, good morning, guys. I'm 30 years old and just got into my first serious relationship ever. I, however, told my new girl that I have been in two other relationships. I feel uncomfortable and just want to tell her the truth. I guess you haven't told her that you've been in two other relationships. Okay, so you're feeling uncomfortable and you want to tell her, should I or should I not? So this is his first serious relationship. Mm -hmm. So do you tell, you know, if you had like a small thing with someone, maybe you tried dating, it was a So Alimoja, it has idea ni quite relationship. Jambola pili. What is the usefulness of saying it? If you feel like you need to talk, is this the only person you can talk to? But I mean... I no, I just want to know this. How will she likely to respond? You see, this woman could be mature and she can help you and she won't take it anything. That's okay. Do yeah. it. But if you are risking... But kuna KYC. Know your customer. Know your client. Know your... This is now KYC. That's right. Know your partner. That's right. But I'm asking, those things he did, are they in the past or he's still struggling with them and he yeah. wants to be helped to stop? That's different. Okay. But if they are way in your past... And is that eating you want to attack on a time in Fania, attack to connect in Fania, you makingine, new tamingine, now you, where you go, make it your pocket skis. You count um, until I'm a quasabia, 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 I'm a Emmanuel o o o Wate, Professor Manu, you say, Joyce, you should not tell your spouse details to do with the beauty of your friends and maybe how enjoyable it is to be around <laughs> your friends. Unona, yani, you tempt your spouse to go and check out your friends. <laughs> to take notes. <laughs> Imagine a guy asking you, my hubby keeps praising you. Tell me, what is it about you that I can also maybe adopt? <laughs> so, so that guy is, is, is speaking the wise thing. Yeah. Now, part of it is also, um, if, if there are elements you know you have, your partner can't do anything about. Okay. You know, you know that girl has nice boobs, nice legs, and I like her smile. What are you telling this? 
partner in reverse. Yeah, that yeah. that person is better than me. Yeah. Remember, all, what we want in the face of our partners is to be preferred at all yeah. times. Yeah, the apple of their eye. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Your partner wants to know they are the best still, despite mm -hmm. everybody you're meeting in the world. Yeah. And when I talk men's conference, in your men's conference. <laughs> 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 the challenge for this is men are very visually stimulated. Yeah, yeah. We take in the world through visuals. And yeah. ladies have learned it. Yeah. <laughs> and they're out to capitalize on it. Yeah. To confuse us. So a guy told me, Unakutana na uyu manadada na kwa street za Nairobi, unasikia fuse is meanza kumeot. <laughs> so, I, that's not something you're going home and telling your partner, I met this hot girl. Oh my, what are you saying? Yeah. Your partner wants to know they are still the best. Okay. Yeah. So, but even as my, like for me and with my girlfriends, you know, you don't go and start saying, hey, my girl, is, she's so beautiful. Like, don't be telling that to your husband because <laughs> why are you giving yourself competition? That's it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Joyce, I'm Nancy. Um, Imagine my boyfriend told me Ati I was not his type when we had fallen in love, Kabisa. That really hurts me. And looking at him and remember, it, I guess it hurts you to look at him because you remember what he told you. Now, my question is, they were already dating. And then he says that he's, she was not his type when Let's, they've fallen in love. That's so, that's, that's very wrong. damaging because yeah. one, you're contradicting yourself. Why have you settled in my life if I'm not your type? Exactly. Number two, also, just let's want people never to mention the word divorce, even during disagreements, unless yeah. you are serious about divorce. Don't mention that word because mm. it's a threat. And the person keeps thinking, what did you say? It's true. What did you say? A lot of people actually throw that in arguments, like, we won't watch Don't do that. Disagreements are sure to come. It's not about if, but when. Disagreements will surely come. Yeah. And the point is to say that, let, let, let's tell people that, uh, like, you, you're not my type. What is that? That's equivalent of, I'm regretting mm -hmm. being with you. Mm -hmm. So you must not tell people that you regret choosing them. Yeah. You must not tell people that you'd, you, you'd wish to, to divorce and leave them. Yeah. Na tunasema, kuna maneno unasema na inaka in the air for, inaka in that environment and nilikuwa nambia watu kwa Facebook that you, you, you'll apologize for those words until your deathbed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's better you keep them. I was telling them go to the grave with those words. Yeah. And with the ladies, it's good to have some girlfriends whom you discuss your crush with. Don't tell me the guy you crushed recently. Eh, okay. I have girlfriends who tell that. You know it's a passing thing. Well, I think you shouldn't even be thinking that. Like, why would no, you no. entertain those Let thoughts? me introduce you to another world, Joyce. <laughs> because I'm a psychologist. Okay. Our emotions are a cocktail. Human beings don't feel one emotion straight line for the rest next 30 years. Uh -huh. You move places, you find people who, who really excite you. You connect intellectually, you connect so well, you know, they like you. Uh, and it, we are not starting any emotional affair. Mm -hmm. You're not starting anything. Mm -hmm. Others have not noticed you, but you have noticed them. Okay. You have okay. liked them. All right. <laughs> they presented you, enjoyed, and all that. You don't tell that to your partner. Yeah. Laugh about it to your girlfriend who will call you stupid. Okay, so uh, <laughs> you know, when you were talking about divorce, it also made me think of another question at, um, in which a lot of people sometimes in their talk, like either they feel like they can't do things the way they used to when they were single, and then they'll actually say stuff like, Man, I kind of wish I wish I was single right now. And you're saying it like passively, like it's a joke, right? Like, say you have kids and you have a spouse and you need to make dinner, but your girlfriends are having a party and you can't go until you've done your responsibilities in the house. And you're like, hey, Mazi, I wish I was single. You're saying it as a joke, but words have power. Words have a because lot of power. What are you telling me? Again, you're reg it's like a regret. Can you see that? Yeah, now, thank you for now complimenting. You know, say, even after you get married, you'll have those moments you miss things yeah. that were before marriage. You should not say them to the wrong person. Don't say them to your partner. Yeah. Because they begin to think you're regretting settling down with them. Mm -hmm. And what we are saying is, have an avenue where sometimes, unajua, if you say that with your girlfriends who are also married and they, sometimes they feel the same, mutaicheka tuna mzeme nyo, yeah, those moments, there's some things we miss in our, God, in, yeah. in, in our, in our, in our days. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, let's get to some more feedback here. Hey, Joyce, one should never tell their spouse they're good for nothing. Ah, <laughs> it costs me the father of my son, and I'm 22. Wow. That's Her a very age sad situation. Is excusable. Because you, you always say that this is 22, the age of That 21, 22 is very delicate. But I'm happy she has learned the lesson. Yeah. If you tell me I'm good for nothing, remember the three predictors of breakups? Uh, mm -hmm. stonewalling, criticizing. So if you criticize me like that, yeah. I'll never feel valued. I value you, you are the best, and yet you told me I'm good for nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the one word you say that's destroyed any place and that given applies you. even in like parenting relationships i yes. feel those parents who tell their kids that they will always remember so don't even do that. Okay. Um, hey, Joyce, I gave birth months ago and I added weight. My husband always tells me I'm still beautiful. I can say it's rare, especially in men, uh, but men should learn from that. That's Edna watching us uh, from Kakamega. Shout out to you, that's so your good. husband, Edna. Yeah, that's fantastic. And you know, um, um, let's tell uh, guys that ladies sometimes wonder whether you find them attractive, especially in the changing seasons of life. Yeah. They're expecting now they have a baby and all the kind of that. That, that reaffirmation validation yeah. that you're still my best Very that you're important. still with me mm -hmm. a, a men's conference what i warn them about kile nimekwambia wakiwa barabarani wana notice na wanasikia it is okay it is naanza kumea watana few school whatever at the point is ukumbuke these people you are seeing them from a window they are outside your life yeah if they came in the same restlessness you're experiencing with your wife will still come yeah, yeah. there's no one person who has a combination of all good elements of women in the world sure that would be a ghost. Sure, sure, <laughs> so that sure. would not be a person. All so right. I'm happy that guy is doing the right thing. Great. Um, let me read another one here. Good morning, Joyce. I'm married for four years now. For the last three years, my husband, Amekua Akikana, simu the whole night. Analala 6 a.m. asubui. Nimejaribu kuteta hasiki. Until now, um, hajawai change mimi nimechoka. Okay, and I guess that will actually follow on to our next discussion, which is on dealing with a workaholic partner. That's going to be coming up in a few moments. But for now, let me read some more of your feedback on this topic here of what not to tell your spouse. Uh, hey, Joyce, I'm dating a guy who does not text or call for even more than a week i have tried to compromise but he does not change should i walk away so here is a case where they're not even saying anything this spouse isn't even saying anything um just not even communicating uh, and these are people whom who sometimes need professional help and they can always find me my facebook is zulu benjamin we are gonna, can always arrange a session for them but we are saying come on to a kuongeleshi swali ni joys where do you stand in their life mm -hmm. ask that question because relationships survive on communication we can yeah. peter ujani pigia ujani are we in a relationship or are we not yeah. you know so the point is uliza find out where you stand in that person's life mm -hmm. and seek clarity mm -hmm. i think what she's looking for is clarity mm -hmm. are we in a relationship or we are not Mm -hmm. Now, if you in uncertainty and darkness, nobody wants to be asking, do I matter to you? Do you mm -hmm. talk to me and all that? Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, lots of feedback coming in. I'm going to try and make <laughs> as go through as many of them as I can in our last few minutes here. But um, hey, Joyce, loving the show as usual. I think the other thing you should never ever tell your partner is, and I quote, Babe, niliambio ulifanya, ama ulionekana, ama nilisikia. I realized mm. stories are kufikishwa. <laughs> comes out in an ugly way the phone and game, eh? all spiced up have yeah. a good day she's also called joyce um yeah and this comes to you know sometimes there are people we have to recognize that they're not everyone is going to be happy for you there's a lot of people who'll be jealous of what you have right. jealous of your relationship yeah and so they may find all sorts of things to say so your first instinct should be to trust this person that you've married trust that even you, you've played your role correct so that you're not just taking any every, every story from every tom we Dick can and never Harry. have peace if yeah. you bring me everything you had yeah no i'm not scared to everything that you said about your spouse you believe then you, you don't even yeah. know your partner come on to if, tell your people if my spouse was to ask me that yes. i would say don't just tell me that they gossiped me let tell me why they ghost they were comfortable to gossip in to your presence you. exactly kuna mtu kuna mtu alikuwa anaambiwa na na ati husband yako tulimuona amebeba kamrembo hapo mbele kwa gari ati anaambiwa hivyo akawaambia she answered them directly i trust my husband please leave me alone yeah they stopped bringing the gossips yeah yeah so there's a place of trusting and also defending your spouse mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. mm. All right. An interesting question here. Hey, Joyce, ask your guest if it's okay to tell your spouse about an addiction that you have. Ooh. That's important. If they're going to help you or if it's interfering with the relationship, it's very important. But let me announce this. I've seen guys who told their wives that they were struggling with pornography. Mm -hmm. It damaged the relationship so badly. Apparently, women don't understand the sexual angle of men's psychology. Mm -hmm. Only men understand it better. After I walked with him in therapy, he overcame it. Mm -hmm. And now the relationship has repaired uh, uh, considerably. Because okay. there are other factors that would make the man not be able to have sex with him, like stress and all that. But she always attributed 
to the pornography you talked about, mm. the women on the video, mm. those things, so you are, and all that. So be careful what you want to reveal and how it will help. But yeah. we are saying you should not keep addictions are dangerous. They can They're very eat up dangerous. relationships. You shouldn't, eat. yeah. Because if you keep such secrets too, very I think sometimes even the fact that a secret that big has been kept for someone it's already is hurting. even more hurtful. Yes. Yeah. So part of it, Niku, if you came and tell them there's something I'm struggling with, help me. Yeah. That partner can help you even get and a maybe professional. maybe go to therapy together. Yes. Absolutely. And many of them will not judge you if you're asking for help. The problem is if you're still not able, willing to I'm going to discover him when you and all that. That would be more damaging. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, hey, Joyce. This is on Facebook. Mugasia Laura. You say, Hey, Joyce, enjoying the show. I support Benjamin 99.9%. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Caroline Mamboy, you say you're tuned in from Juja and loving the discussion. You support Benjamin 100%. <laughs> oh, wow, we you. need to get your report card. Um, <laughs> never tell your spouse or partner about your past ex, especially one you miss. Never, ever, you say. And she's she's put fast in what she <laughs> for. Mm. Never. <laughs> you're right, you're right. All right, Judy, Judy, you say, hey, Joyce, say hello to Benjamin. I love the show so much. I thank Asante. God for giving Zulu that heart. He made to say, dear Sana, tell Zulu wow. he's an amazing guy. God bless that you. That means a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, <laughs> Benjamin, as well. Mm. And um, Martha Damaklin Keroro says, you have to study your spouse first before saying some secrets right. so as to know what to say and what not to say. Otherwise, you will be in for a rude shock. Myself, I will never, ever tell my past of my past relationship i will behave like he is the first man to ever know <laughs> let me tell you something <laughs> about... <laughs> I, know, I had katiba ya slave queens and nisoma mali katiba ya slave queens and if he takes you to a romantic place it's always your first time to come here <laughs> <laughs> The childhood that ka, ka boyfriend and then your ex. <laughs> it was well, just on a funny David, note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much for all of your feedback. Lots and lots of it um, has come in. Um, let me just shout out some names, okay? Because I may not be able to get through all of them now but uh, Irene Kathure ni Tobias Diana Mwelu uh, Delphin Jepko Kok Gay, uh, Chir Chir Chemite, Kiddy Melody, Mary Juma Shaz, uh, Asanteni Sana, Ruth Kanini as well. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to you, Benjamin Zulu. My Facebook. Facebook yes. is Zulu Benjamin. Yeah. Gmail is Zulu Benjamin at Gmail. Okay. Yeah. Asante Sana Tunashkuru. Ata sisi tunakupia 100% leo. <laughs> Asante, I'm also very happy. Ama nizeme 99.9 ju. Enye ume. Ume vruga vitu hapa sana. But Tunashkuru. With that said, guys, we're going to take a short break now as we get ready for our next discussion which is on dealing with a workaholic partner Kawui when Yanasema her husband sleeps at 6 a.m because he's on the phone the whole night yikes we're going to be talking about that when we get back from this break keep it locked right here this is full circle with Joyce <laughs> 